How do you determine the number of cells that each patient should get? We actually settled on 120 million being adequate for the reversal of inflammation um, for 95% of the population. So we stick with that. With MS, we give 140 because uh, typically they just need a little bit more help. They're more, hit, particularly if they're brittle MS. I can tell you that in the Miami study where they gave 200 million cells, there was no benefit. Where they gave 100 million cells, there was plenty of benefit. We also know that you know, we give multiple doses because the vast majority of people don't have symptoms if you break up the dose. And if you give too many at one shot, you, you wind up with symptoms, a, a, a lot more symptoms, a lot more side effects. So we've always kept uh, the maximum dose to 40 million because when we went to 50, we started getting, the, you, could, you, know, you could see the uptick in the percentage of people that had side effects and we want it to be as easy and, and as enjoyable as possible. So we limit it to 40 million at a time.